they're fish or any other creatures swimming around here. Aye, where'd all the little fishies go? Ooh. This is creepy. It's like a ghost town down here. Blech. You mean a gross town. Shellington, what is this green mess? It's algae. Algae is a common plant in the ocean, but there's a lot more here than usual. <laughs> yep, all this slimy algae keeps clogging up the octopod faster than I can clean it out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Dashie. Didn't see you there behind me. <laughs> Professor, have you ever heard of such a thing? I've observed this problem before, but where? <gasps> Hold on, Shellington. I can check my books. To the library! Yep, look at this. There's a leak in this pipe. Hmm. I wonder if that could be part of the... Hmm? Oh! Whoa! Oh no! The octopod is taking off without us! We've got to catch the octopod! Octonauts, to the cups! We've got to get back on board the octopod. Are you with me, Quasi? Aye, matey. Peso, you drive. Me? Aye, aye, sir. Octonauts, let's do this. Octo hatch. Professor Inkling could be in trouble. Yeah. All about algae. Everything about algae. Mm -hmm. Everything else about algae. Ah. Ah. She won't open. Let me try. Sometimes it takes some pull up man strength. Combined with some cat like quickness. <laughs> ha! To, to get, get the, the job done. done. Hey! Ahem. Uh oh. Run for it. <laughs> yeah! Give up. You've got us. Why did you crabs and lobsters take the octopod? <laughs> and uh, why are you all coughing and wheezing? I ain't gonna lie to you. Me and my friends here, we were feeling ill. <laughs> so we, um, bothered your octopod. Because to get better, we had to leave our home and go someplace where there isn't so much algae. Jumping jellyfish. So all that algae was making you ill. But where did all that algae come from in the first place? Hmm. I wonder if the water's polluted. Polluted? Yes. That's when things get into the water that shouldn't be there, which could make the algae grow until there's too much of it. But what's polluting the water? Cap, the leaky pipe. That's right. The leaky pipe we saw must be putting something bad into the water. What about the other creatures that are still there? They may need our help. That's right, Peso. And that's why we're going back to fix that leaky pipe and clean up that extra algae. 
I've got it! It's right in this book. The water's polluted, which is causing too much algae to grow, which is making creatures ill! <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Octonaut, let's clean up this water. Right, right away. I'm on aye, aye. it, Cap. Welcome home. We've cleaned up the extra algae and fixed the leaky pipe that caused the algae to grow too much. Mmm, just right. Yeah, much better. Thanks, Octonauts. Sorry for taking your ship. Now you won't have to leave your home ever again. Or run away with your octopod. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Tweak? I don't know, but the captain sounds real worried. Here he comes! Peso, I've got a lot of hurt patients back here. Hurry! <gasps> Pelicans! There's more of them in here! Peso, we found them covered in rubbish. They need your help. Tweak, clear out your workshop. We'll need that space for an emergency room. You got it, Peso. Good work, Peso. Your quick action has saved these pelicans' lives. Aye, but what happened to them? I've never seen a bunch of birds so bent out of shape. Ah, twas awful out there. The lads never knew what hit them. We'd flown out to sea for our first fishing trip in the morning. And we'd just spotted a big school of little fishes for our breakfast. All right, lads, I told them. Prepare to plunge! That's how we pelicans go fishing, see? We dive in fast, then scoop the fish up in our pouches. But this time, we were tricked. Twasn't a school of fishes at all, but a big bunch of grimy sea junk. Luckily, Dashy and I happened to spot them as we were passing by in the guffs. I don't know what we would have done without your help. But why was there so much junk in the water? When plastic gets thrown into the ocean, it sometimes drifts together in big floating patches of rubbish. The plastic can be very dangerous to sea creatures who might eat it by mistake. Aye, and the rubbish patch that fooled us is still out there somewhere. Then we'd better clean it up. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Uh, Cap, we're already in the launch bay. Oh, uh, right. Octonauts, our mission is to clean up the rubbish patch that hurt these pelicans. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Octonauts, we're making good progress. They're coming from every direction. There's got to be a whoa, way out of here. Captain, jump on! 
Great timing, Peso. Octonauts, let's move out. Don't look down. Don't look down. Thanks for the lift, Pelicans. Good to see you're feeling better. everyone. This water is getting rough. Deputy to Captain Barnacles. There's a storm about to hit and it's me. The iceberg has changed direction. It's heading towards me. Dashi, sound the Octonauts. Octonauts to the HQ. That's dangerous for the Adelie penguin parents. They could get lost at sea. The storm will blow ice and snow onto the shore. Peso and Quasi will need to find a way to keep the chicks warm. Dashi, contact Peso and tell him to get ready for ice and snow. Ready on it, Captain. I'll find and rescue the Adelie penguin parents, but I'll need a bigger gup. Tweak, meet me outside the octopod with the gup C. Got it, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> I'm coming to get you! Oh, got you! Two more! Hold tight! Hop on board! Throw me bandage rolls as fast as you can. Ready? Aye, go! That should do. Wow. It's perfect, me hearty. Everyone, inside the tent! <laughs> this is so exciting! I don't want to go inside and miss the big storm! Rocco, it's too cold for you out here, matey! Oh, all right! <laughs> that ought to do it! Nice and cosy! Right, Rocco? Where's Rocco? He's not in here. Then he's out there. I'm going after him. Rocco! Rocco! <laughs> Rocco! I'm too to move. Hold on, Macy! I'm coming for you! Ice 
Gothenburg again. How will we get home, Captain? Don't worry. The Gulf Sea was built to break through ice. <laughs> Penguins, this could get bumpy. Where's Quasi? Just one more time, eh, matey? This little reef is only a few years old, but it's already full of life. Aye, this reef is busy, even if it's not very big. Hey, it's big enough. Who said that? I'm right here. Show yourself. Oh, here I am. I'm a frogfish. Name's Anton. Wow, you look so much like the reef. I didn't see you there, matey. That is the idea. I'm camouflaged, which means I blend in with what's around me. It keeps me safe from bigger fish who want to eat me, like those sharks. Sharks? Everybody hide. <laughs> I thought I smelled food. Let's head to a bigger reef. Oh, see what I mean? <laughs> you fooled them, matey. Fascinating. These other fish can't blend in like the frogfish, but the reef has lots of places for them to hide. This reef keeps us and all our friends safe. It is our home sweet home. Captain, the storm tracker shows that there's a hurricane on the way. Octopod to Quasi, Shellington and Tweak. There's a hurricane heading your way. And it's moving fast. Take cover in the guts. There's not enough time to return to the Octopod. Aye, aye, Captain. We'll ride out the storm in the Gup Sea. Very good. Barnacles out. There's a hurricane about to hit, matey. Storm coming. Oh, everyone take cover. <laughs> Then I'm not camouflaged. How will I hide from the sharks? You can't hide either. Hmm. I see what you mean. Captain, the coral reef's been destroyed, and these fishies need a new place to live. We have to do something. Agreed. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Octonauts, the reef dwellers need our help. Their home was destroyed by the hurricane, and now they have no shelter or protection. Maybe we could move all the fish to another reef. There may not be enough time to move them before the second part of the hurricane hits. Second part? A hurricane starts with strong winds and waves that stir up the ocean. Then there's calm like it is now. But that's because we're in the quiet centre of the storm, known as the eye. After the eye passes, it's followed by winds and waves even stronger than the first ones. But the fishies will never survive that without a reef. Hmm, what if we build them a new reef? Ah, you're talking about making an artificial reef, Captain. 
about an artificial reef? An artificial reef can be made out of anything. A sunken ship or even an old train carriage. Algae, sponges, coral and plants attach themselves to it. And that attracts fish who make it their home. Let's do this! <laughs> Much better. Well, what do you think? Oh, it has plenty of places for me to blend in. And plenty of hiding places for the rest of us. I say, let's move in. Octonauts and the Monster Map. <coughs> Quasi. Activate Creature Report! Creature Report! Creature Report! 